Hello and welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. For today's episode, I thought we'd take a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mutating Razar. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this guy. Toko and Raza first appeared in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 movie, where Shredder decided to create two mutant warriors of his own. Dispatching a group of foot soldiers, they stole a canister of mutagen and kidnapped Professor Jonathan Perry, who was forced to create the two mutants. In an act of defiance, Professor Perry tampered with the mutation process, resulting in Toko and Raza having the intelligence of infants. Despite this, their great strength and size still made them worthy adversaries and almost too much for the turtles to handle. Alright, so here we have King of the Ninja Turtles mutating Razar. Now, I will apologize because I am missing some parts from him. I'm missing the little pads that actually peg on here. It's just one of those things that have popped off over time and I just can't find him. And I'm also missing the little brass knuckles that he came with that mutated into a dog collar for him when he's in his wolf state. I found half of it, but I just could not find the other one, so I really apologize for that. However, each one of these guys did come with like a little green canister of ooze that they could sort of hold. And that was a nice accessory. I'm glad that they finally started introducing and giving ooze to each one of these characters. It was a nice little thing for the bad guys to fight over or just to have. And if you had a bunch of these guys, then you had a really nice little stockpile of mutagen at your disposal. Now, as far as articulation goes, I mean, he has a little ball articulation right here. So his arms could kind of move all the way around. His head can swivel side to side. Even though when his head's locked in place, his chin is kind of locked there. And that little tuft of beard right there gets in the way of moving his head. I don't have his head locked down right now just because I've noticed that there's a little bit of wear and tear right here. So I'm going to try to get this all in one take because there's a good chance that this guy might break on me during this transformation. Anyways, he also has some elbow articulation right here and some wrist articulation as well as his wrist can swivel up and down and his hands can actually move so it, he can actually kind of grip his weapons but this is also more in line with the transforming gimmick that he has for when he gets back to his dog state now his legs can move side to side and his ankles can move now he also has a tail right here which is actually supposed to fold up when he's in this giant mode however i kind of like it out like this just because he is a wolf after all so i like his tail being out um you can see that his shoulder pads kind of flop around and you have these little things that uh, kind of just are right there. That's just because when you transform these guys, this all these things fold up into each other. Now I might actually need to use uh, this uh, this tool right here. It's a, just a box cutter, just to pry some of his joints apart. Where I stored this guy, it got a little bit damp, and so the little metal parts in here, the little hinge, are a little bit rusty, and he doesn't quite open as well as he used to. Anyways, let's start off by actually opening this part up right here, and you just fold these little pins right up in here, the pads I should say, uh, right up in there, alright, and then you're going to fold his hands in like this because that's going to form the paws that he has, and now his waist can actually move apart like this, and here's where it's going to be hard, can we pop this apart, uh, there we go, gonna use these joints, in the past this used to pop apart a lot easier, but given over time it's just made it a little bit hard. So you're going to move this back, pull his little wolf head out, and then we're going to gently try to push that in. Okay, there we go. We're going to move his shoulder pads in because those are going to fit all the way inside here. And then we're going to move this back uh, and snap that apart. He actually doesn't look all that bad with his wolf head actually either. Other than this part jetting out right now, he just almost looks like a hero, weird, one of those weird hero dog creatures. Anyways, you move his head around like this and you're going to twist his legs around so that they now form his hind legs and snap his tail back into this little area right here. And you're going to move his hands around like this. Move his paws forward. There we go. Up like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take his little chest plate right here and you're going to fold that over because that's going to form the fur of his sides, sort of. And then take this little part right here and that just snaps right in back there and that keeps his legs from coming up too close. And that's pretty much him in his wolf form. 
I know it's not the prettiest looking thing, but that's what they had as far as his mutation goes. I really don't like him in his dog form. I actually like him more in his mutated form just because he's so much bigger than the average turtles that you got in the... You could take him to like one of the standard turtles that didn't mutate and he looks more like how he should look in the movie. I mean, just that big looming dominating size compared to the turtles. Other than that, other than this transforming state though, I mean, I really do like Razar and you can tell why he was kind of rusted, why the parts rusted because I hadn't changed him from his mutated form all that much. But as far as guys go, he's definitely a must have. I think he, him and Toka look really good at, in their giant state. But this has been a look at mutating Razar. Hello and welcome to another edition of Toys from the Attic. For today's episode, I thought we'd take a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mutating Razar. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this guy.